Alright, so today is the last day to get a chance to play the Halo 3 refill playlist. And so we're playing it right now. So that's it. That's the video. You can tap like and move out today. But if you want to know why I haven't really felt like I've played this mode as much as I thought I would, we well, can stick around through the whole video. Surprisingly, I haven't played this mode at all since the battle rifle update, which you would think would make me want to play it more as I am a bit of a battle rifle stand myself. Okay, I'll pick up the ball, even though I got the sniper. There you, you touch it. You grab that ball. No? I'm gonna grab the ball. That's all you do. I got sniper. See, that's why. That's why. That's why you get the the sniper, not carry the ball. I told you. I think one factor definitely was the timing, at least for me. Like, it just came out like right as the holidays were coming around, right? Thanksgiving and all that kind of stuff for us in the US. So I was a bit busy. <laughs> I got the hammer, boy. Oh my gosh, get off me. Actually, I actually did not know about this little jump up at all right here. I'll take that, thank you. Oh no! And while I do feel these maps are absolutely amazingly forged, you know, I kind of, you know, played the maps before, uh, like a million times already. Oh god, I ate that grenade like a champ. And so I was like, yeah, man, these maps are great. Play just like how they used to back in the olden days. And while I definitely do love playing into nostalgia when it comes to Halo, I mean, I did buy the Halo CE armor set because, well, I just wanted the nostalgia. But I would say just like the enjoyment of this mode just kind of may worn off a little bit faster than I expected to. But I think that's one of the things that it will really need to do right now is just kind of leaning a little bit more into that nostalgia. I mean, it definitely worked with that Halo CE armor set. It took Halo Infinite from number, what, 115 on Steam to, oh my, it took it all the way up to the 15th most sold game on Steam. So that's a significant jump right there. And I saw, I made a video about it saying like this worked for 343. Be able to make this CE armor set a true recreation of the armor set, not that weird Halo anniversary nonsense. Oh, my God, dude, get up, please, my brother. I'm kind of beaming. Oh, no! But when you look at anything that's Halo related, right, in gaming media in general, what is it always about? It's always about, like, remember the good old days back in the early 2000s when we had Halo was, like, being the top game in the league and stuff like that, whatever. So... It makes sense. 343 should lean into that nostalgia. I mean, it, it works. <laughs> also, 343 shouldn't have that be like the sole reason why people jump into experience Halo Infinite. Because even though I love nostalgia, I do love the good old days. I definitely do like experiencing new type of things you can do within Halo. No! I would say though that there has to be a balance, right? Between the nostalgia feels, remembering how good the early 2000s were when it came to Halo, and also creating new experiences for people to enjoy. Oh my God, why do you have to stand right next to the window? Or at least the next thing that 343 is gonna put into Halo Infinite, have it be something a little bit more of a new experience, right? Or to kind of at least balance it out between nostalgia and Oh my god, that was close. No! Nostalgia and new experiences. So I hope the next event, or at least the second half of this Operation event, will have some kind of new gameplay mechanics for us to try out and have some fun with. The other point I would say the reason why I haven't played this as much is probably what you've been yelling at your monitor or mobile device for the longest time is probably the skill-based matchmaking. Feels like 343 took a cue from Soldier Boy to crank that SPMM up because god damn, it's been tough, man. It honestly has deterred me from playing this mode as much as I thought I would because it just feels like I have to try so dang hard just to break even in these games. To even have a chance of winning, I feel like I really need to carry. And that's just not what a social experience should be within Halo. That's what rank should feel like. Rank should be difficult. Ranked arena should be the hyper competitive situation where you jump in, you try your balls off to try to get that win and stuff like that. Like, yeah, that totally makes sense. But the thing is that you play different playlists differently, right? You don't play social modes just to try to win. You try to jump in more just to kind of blow stuff up. So you might do some silly things just to kind of test things out, have new sensitivity or something you're messing with or whatever. I don't know. There's a million different reasons why people play social. And Max Hilberman, the former multiplayer lead at Bungie during the Halo days, talked about this in a tweet. We covered it in a video as well. It's talking about how what they used to do is have per playlist skill ranking, which you would think would kind of lead to unfair matches or something like that, but not really. What it actually would lead to is more accurate matches. Look at that flag. Stop, man. We get these! Because I don't play Team Slayer the same way as I do Ranked Arena. I don't play the Halo 3 playlist the same way as I do Ranked Arena. And yet, 
the experience of playing Halo Infinite online is Ranked Arena. I would say also the maps design also really are hyper focused on competitive in mind. Now we have seen the last few seasons that they've kind of expanded out their design models a little bit more, right? We see a little more casual maps like Chasm. Cliffhanger, not exactly the most like competitive map either. And that's where I think you could really lean into Forge content is, you know, we've seen like how good Halo Infinite's Forge mode can be. You can make basically developer quality maps in Forge. So let the competitive people utilize Forge when it comes to that stuff. Now there is an issue with desync and stuff like that. Let's run this flag though. But like we covered in a previous video, 343 is actively working on that where they can go down to the granular level of the desync issue just so they can fix it and make it so it works. We get the flag camp, baby. Let's go. Now see, once I saw the recent change here of going with the battle rifle starts, it actually kind of made me want to play the mode a little bit less. I'm like, oh man, like this is gonna get extra difficult because the battle rifle is effectively a power weapon in this game. If you have a battle rifle in your standard social setting modes, oh my god, it's basically a power weapon. The red radical range is insane in this. It's hit scan, so you don't need to lead your shots like you had to do in Halo 3. So basically, you just took the settings and kind of just made it sweatier, which I'm like, mm, I don't really know how I feel about that. So with the combination of rather strict skill-based matchmaking, now with the battle rifle starts, it just kind of makes it go, I don't know if I really want to play Play this right now especially since i'm just kind of hopping on just to chill oh, it just didn't really sound like the experience for me oh can we get this version of the pit put in the halo infinite man please it's so good also i've never had a chance to play critical dew point like the the the, the mountain dew map that my, my good buddy arthur decided to make and it's a looks incredible and i really would want to try around play around with it but uh, I have not played it once in the rotation. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this as well, but you've seen I've made multiple videos playing this mode and even some play sessions on my own. I've put my hours in, man, and not one single dew point map. So I think that combination of all the factors I mentioned within this video it makes it feel like I haven't lived in this place like I feel like I should have. But I love this mode. I love Halo 3 so much that I will fight through the pain of skill-based matchmaking and sweatier settings. And for the love of content, come back still. Does that make me insane? I think I actually make, I might actually make me insane. Ooh. Because at the end of the day, nothing plays like Halo. That's why we keep coming back, right? There is Halo and then there's everything else. Triple it. Can we get the over? He's, I know where the overkill is. The time is probably running out though. Damn it! We get that re, let's go. Look at me sweating in this social mode like a boss. There's a guy right above me on the radar. Let's we'll see if we can sneak up him with a sniper. Oh no, 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 no! You thought that shield could save you, buddy. It doesn't. With this mode going away, also makes me wonder what is 343 gonna do for the next cool thing to come into Halo to make, <laughs> to get people to, I say, sometimes I surprise myself, to jump in and play this operation. So we still got like one or a couple more weeks left of this mo operation. So what's gonna happen? I definitely will cover here on the channel, whatever the next cool thing is that comes into Halo Infinite. I'm definitely gonna be talking about it. We'll definitely jump in and play it, review it, talk about it, you know, a little bit of everything. Oh no, I'm getting this flag back, buddy. This is mine. I'm taking this. This is mine. Not yours. It's mine. See? We're running this bitch. Let's go. I do have our flag, though. So we gotta change that up a little bit as well. Oh no! Oh god, that was close. That was way too close. I didn't like that one bit. Oh god, I'm getting flanked like a mother. This is getting intense. I'm just trying to survive. Let everyone know he's there. We know he's there. Yes! Let's get this retired. Yes! Get it, buddy! Yeah! Tap like if you guys enjoyed the video and check out this video right here. If you guys want to see some more content from me, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.